Hello everyone, this is Ashwin from visittemples.com and today I am going to take you to a magnificent temple. So let's get into the video. Today we are going to see about Nandalur Swaminara Swami Temple. This temple is located slightly away from the arterial road in between Rajampet and Kadapa. There is a welcome mass near the main road which leads us to the temple. And this temple is also known as Chokkanara Swami Temple. And this temple is believed to be built by Kulotunga Chora 1. The presiding deity of this temple is Lord Swaminara Perman, who is an incarnation of Lord Mahavishnu. The main deity stands majestically tall at 7 feet, which is made up of black stone. The entire temple is located in a sprawling campus of 10 acres. It is a very popular Hindu Vaishnava temple in Andhra Pradesh which resembles the culture and architecture of Chola dynasty dating back to 11th century. The inscription in this temple reveals the intricate details starting from 11th century to 17th century. Cholas, Pandyas, Kakatiyas and Vijayanagara kings had a very big hand in building and renovating this temple. This temple is quite rich since it holds a 120 acre of agricultural land. Like many other Chola temple, this temple also has four Rajagopuram. The presiding deity of Lord Swaminara Pirmar stands facing east and the interesting fact about this temple is there is no illuminated or uh, artificial light inside Santam Sanctorum. The ceiling of the temple complex has a big fish carving which is made out of redstone. The mandapam of this temple has huge pillars and lion heads are carved at the bottom of each and every pillars. A sub-shrine for Yoga Narasimha Swami is built on the right of the Santora. This temple also has Sangatis for Lord Anjaneya and Lord Vinayaka. Kalyana Utsam is performed in a grand manner in this temple and it is believed that anyone performing Lavan Pradakshinam or Sarkam Ambulation will get their desire fulfilled. There is a small pond inside the temple complex for the devotees to take a holy dip. Temple authorities are making sure that the temple is well maintained and cleansed to provide a good hygiene to the devotees. Though the temple has a huge complex, the major problem here in this temple is the limitation for parking since the road is too narrow. There are Anadana Kudams in this temple to provide free prasadam and food to the devotees. This temple is open to all devotees who are willing to visit this temple from morning 6 am to 11 am and again reopens at evening 4 pm and closes at night 8 pm. This temple is also unique since this temple allows public to conduct marriages here in a grand manner. For any other details, please do contact temple authorities 96428-00643 and 96428-01683 I repeat once again 96428-00643 and 96428-01683 Please do like, share and comment and do not forget to hit the subscribe and bell button to get our updates instantaneously. Thank you, have a good day.